Audio Brewers has just implemented head tracking into their Ambisonics plugins. Alejandro has done a video on how to set that up, but I have the Waves NX head tracker. Honestly, I can't remember why I bought this. I've had this for a long time and it's been sitting in a closet. It is possible to get this to work with most third-party head trackers that aren't Waves software, but it takes jumping through one tiny hoop so let me show you how you can set this up to work with the audio burrs head tracking. So the Waves NX head tracker doesn't output in the right language, more or less. So you need a translator. You, I'll link this in the video description, but you need to download the NX OSC program. And when you download it, it's very simple. You're looking at it right now. It comes up. What you're going to have to do is first, you need to turn on your NX tracker. And it's blinking, it's thinking about it. Then on the NX OSC, which you'll need to run in the background while you're running your DAW, you'll want to connect to it and you see it's shown up as the NX tracker. I'm going to choose that as our device. And now you can see that it's tracking correctly. Now, before we move forward, if you'll look in my NX OSC tracker program, you'll notice that the local host is changed to port 8001. When you download the NX OSC tracker, your port is going to default to port 8000. I'll, I'll share in a different video why I changed that. But for you specifically, when you download the NX OSC tracker, Yours is going to default to port 8000. So when you bring up the rotator plugin where you can implement the head tracking, you'll see this new little circle. You're going to hit that, and then you're actually going to type in port 8000, and it'll sync with yours. But mine is at 8001 for unrelated reasons. So I'm going to type in port 8001, hit enter, and we have head tracking. Now you'll notice when I put this guy on my head, um, <laughs> everything's a little weird. Inside of the NX OSC program that's running in the background, if you look straight ahead where you want to be your default position and you hit reset, you'll notice that it's reset. So sometimes every once in a while, if you do a lot of tracking and big movements, sometimes it can get off a little bit. So if you notice you're looking straight ahead and it's not centered the way it should be in the plugin, just make sure you bring up the NXOSC program in the background and reset. So we're still working in Ambisonics at this point inside an Ambisonic workflow. So I've implemented this rotator as a first order Ambisonic plugin because I'm using files from this Soyuz Ambisonic microphone. I've followed that with a decoder plugin from Audio Brewers. And as you can see, it's first order Ambisonic because we're only getting the four channels from the mic. So, at, so workflow wise, you're going to want to make sure that you put the rotator plugin on first so that you can head track correctly inside of an ambisonic workflow and environment. And then after you apply the rotator plugin to get your head tracking working, you're going to want to follow that up with a decoder that takes it from first order ambisonics into stereo so that you're hearing it decoded to stereo correctly. Now, another great feature that you have in a lot of the Audio Brewers plugins is the ability to upscale your ambisonic source. So like I said, I'm using a file that I recorded with the Soyuz ambisonic mic, which is first order, so it's four channels. On this track next to it, I've actually upscaled that to third order ambisonics, which is 16 channels. Now, with the Audio Brewers plugins, you can go all the way up to 7th order to a very high track count Ambisonics. I'm in Pro Tools Studio. Um, Pro Tools Studio is limited to 3rd order Ambisonics. That's as high as you can go. You have to pay for the right to use higher Ambisonic orders uh, by upgrading to Pro Tools Ultimate. If you've used Pro Tools, I mean, it's no surprise. They're going to squeeze every penny they can out of you any way possible. 
So I'm on this next track, what I've actually done is I pulled up the Audio Brewers Imager plugin, which will let you upscale. So what I've done is I've taken this and gone from third order ambisonics and I've upscaled, no, I'm sorry, I've taken this from first order ambisonics and I've upscaled this to third order ambisonics. So now we're sitting in a 16 channel ambisonic environment. So same thing, after I've upscaled to third order ambisonics, I'm going to apply the rotator plugin and apply that as a third order ambisonic. And I'm not going to do the head tracking on this plugin because you can only have it set up on one plugin at a time for obvious reasons. So now we can head track this and third order ambisonics, which is great because it really improves the imaging. Even when you're faking it and taking a first order signal and upscaling it to third order, Audio Birds has just done an amazing job with their upscaling stuff. It, it sounds really good and it sounds very different. And you'll find that when you do head tracking in a higher order ambisonics, things seem to track a lot more accurately and smoothly. So make sure you give that a try. The only thing you're going to need to do after that is same workflow wise as we did with the first order track. You're going to want to follow that up with a third order ambisonics decoder that takes it to stereo. And when you look here, you can see we've got all 16 channels because we've upscaled that first order four channel mic to a third order ambisonics signal after the fact. You'll notice down here that you have different options to downscale it back to first order or second order or take it to third order. I would recommend just for the most part that you just, it defaults to auto. I would recommend keeping it in auto for the most part because the plugin's pretty smart. It's going to do all that for you. So that is how you can get the NXOSC or the Waves NX Tracker working with the third-party NX OSC Tracker um, plugin sitting in the background. I'll link to that. Uh, make sure you check this out. It, it really is cool kind of hearing stuff in Ambisonics. I know um, Alejandro did another video where he does a lot of like piano libraries that he's recorded in Ambisonic. So he's actually able to play his piano part that's been recorded in Ambisonics and actually move his head around while he's playing that library. Pretty cool stuff, but that's a quick and dirty video on how to get that up and running. Uh, check out the head tracking on the new update for the Audio Brewers plugin.